Welcome to Dala and a Dream. My name is Saiba, and even though I'm told to say my name is Dre Manning, I won't. I'm the voice in his head today, and I do and say what I want and when I want. Let's talk about wardrobe for your short films. So here's a scenario. You write this amazing ass script, you pick the perfect cast, you have your crew and location, everything seems to be set. But when the first day of filming comes, your cast shows up in outfits that don't fit the film you're shooting. Imagine shooting a period piece based in the 50s and everyone shows up supreme and Gucci, urban fashion. Yeah, that's not gonna come over well. So here's a few simple fixes for this problem. Over time I've gained weight, lost weight, and gained weight, and along with these losses and gains, I've accumulated a shitload of clothing. Rather than throwing them away, I've kept them. Not because I'm a hoarder or something, cause I'm not. Don't judge me with your judging eyes. I kept them because I felt that one day I would need that blazer or jean jacket for a short film about a businessman or hipsters. Rather than asking my actors whom I'm possibly asking to shoot for free to wear their own clothes, I've accumulated enough clothing to do several different types of short films. Another option would be thrifting. Thrifting is when one visits several different thrift shops, secondhand shops, and vintage clothing stores in the hopes of buying several items of cheap and unusual clothing. One usually does this with friends. Yeah, I did my research, check me out. Hundred dollars could go a long way in the thrift shop, especially if it's a small cast. Be careful which shops you go to because some places like to overprice and take advantage of its consumers. Secondhand shoes could be a good or bad thing. Just keep some antifungal spray at hand. Never throw away denim. Denim can always be repurposed for specific reasons. And if you don't have the budget to hire seamstress, you better learn how to do it yourself. If done right, you'll realize that you've accumulated enough clothing to have your own wardrobe locker. What that also means, you may need space for storage. If you're like me and live in the city, keeping your stuff in a tiny apartment just won't cut it. Storage lockers could be a big plus, but keep in mind you won't have 24 hour access. Another piece of advice, make sure you stay organized by size, type, and design. This will make the process of locating the right clothing much easier. Now, not only will you be able to shoot an amazing post-apocalyptic short film, your cast will have the proper wardrobe to match. Break boundaries and create greatness. My name is Dre Manning. This is Dollar in a Dream. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, as always. None of this matters if you don't go out there and apply it. Just get out there and shoot your shot.